I found 12 free and useful AI tools for you to try, most of which don't even require a sign up. So no gimmicks, no credit card required to sign up, just powerful tools for you to start using right away. But here's the catch, I'm not sure how long they'll stay free, so you wanna jump on these while you can. Let's dive in, starting with a tool that can animate any drawing. With this tool, all you need to do is have your drawing on a white paper as shown under the checklist section. What I'm going to do is start with one of the examples. Let's take this astronaut and spaceman, click that, and then we'll go next. It's automatically detected the area or the character. Now comes time to highlight your actual character. It should automatically detect it if your drawing is clear. Otherwise you can use the highlighter and eraser tools to get the right character. Now mark the points where all the joints are. I'll click next. And now it's the fun part where you can add animations. You can get it to go from one end to another. Just wave hello like this option here, like so. Here's another one right here. This one here. You can choose under the categories of dance, funny, jumping, or walking and take any image or drawing and animate it like so. Next up, we've got a free text-to-speech converter. All you need to do is paste in your text in the text box right here. Choose your location or the accent that you want your speech to be in. There's quite a number of choices, even under English, you've got different countries. So let's start with United States to keep things simple. I'm just going to choose Emma Neural, female, and use this default text right here so I can show you what it can do for now. There are other settings like speed and pitch, but let's go ahead and play this. You can replace this text with any text you wish. You can either write in this text box or paste your own text here. Pretty good, right? It sounds quite human, quite natural. And again, this is all free. Let's try a different accent. So we've got English, but let's try Philippines just to be, be a bit more uh, diverse, all right? So we'll go and hit play. You can replace this text with any text you wish. You can either write in this text box or paste your own text here. And there we go. Once you've converted your text to speech, all you need to do is download it and then you can use it for whatever purpose you'd like. As a quick side note, you know, all these tools are free for you to use. And if you do find value in them, why not go ahead and donate because it, it does have some consumption costs for the website owner to run. So go ahead and support these website owners and tool owners. Moving on, do you wanna create a professional headshot created using AI? Well, there's a free headshot generator that you can use. Again, no sign up required. All you need to do is click generate professional AI headshot. Firstly, select your gender or just select male. I'm going to use someone else's photo, right? <laughs> Which I downloaded from unsplash.com. Gonna choose professional two, let's go with that. But there are other styles that you can go with depending on the look that you want for your photo. Click continue, choose your age group for the image that I'll be using. I think it looks about 25 to 29. Continue, I could be wrong, but let's go with that. I'll just choose, uh, it's got brown hair. Continue, and does he have a stubble? Uh, yes, I'll just choose stubble. And he is white Caucasian, but there are other ethnicities right here to select and I'll click on continue, upload the image. Here's the image, I'll open. You can upload more images so that the AI gives a better, more accurate photo for you, but otherwise you can go with one and then start generating. Now it's generating the headshots and here's the result. We've got this one with the professional look. I chose professional too. You can see the options right here. Don't like what you're seeing, then you can always go back and generate again. But by using this AI headshot generator, you can simply take any photo and then turn it into any of the styles as shown here. Next up, we've got a document summarizer. All you need to do is upload, drop your PDF file right here. I'm gonna drag and drop my beginner's guide to fitness here and then choose your summary style. Do you want a concise, complete outline or a translation. I'm just going to choose outline and then there's output language selections here to different languages. I'm just going to choose English, click on process. And in seconds, you'll see that it's going to summarize each page. So page number one, it summarizes all of that. Here's page number two, and it's just gonna continue until all the pages are done. However, there is a maximum of 10 megabytes 
for each PDF document. And there we go, all five pages have been summarized. Really useful if you're doing some research, some studying, whatever it may be that you want summarized instead of going through the whole page. So if you wanna get a gist of what that PDF is about, Use this tool and it will save you a heap of time. Next up, we've got an AI transcription tool by Riverside. And all you need to do is drop your audio file or it could be a video file and let AI transcribe the rest. For instance, I wanna transcribe one of my YouTube shorts right here, which I've actually already done, but this is just as a demo, right? I wanna select that. I want to select I'm a human and click on start transcribing and let it do its job. All right, the transcription's done over at Riverside and you can see what it's done. It's did it pretty accurately. And what you can do now is download it. I'm going to choose captions. So let's say you've got a YouTube video and you want to put subtitles. This is the option for it. So it's an SRT file. Click that once and then it will download to your computer. And then in your YouTube video settings, you can head down to subtitles. And then what you can do is upload the SRT file right there. And then it will automatically add the captions to your YouTube video. Of course, this isn't the specific video related to the transcription, but you get the idea. Again, this is all freely provided by Riverside. So whether you have podcasts, YouTube videos, or any other kind of audio that you wanna transcribe, why not use this tool? Because in comparison, you can take a look at something like Rev, which is a popular transcription service, which charges 25 cents per minute. Next up, we've got a tool called Infographics. And with Infographics, you can create these kinds of timelines. You can create lists, Q and A's, processes, cycles, and other graphs and graphics just like these. The only note about this tool is that you only get 10 generations for free. So with that said, try and use it. And if you like it, then yeah, there are other upgrades and options for you. In particular, what you want to use is the AI functionality. And you can say something like the evolution of social media. And then let's generate. So as you can see, 10 of 10 left. And there we go. It's instantly made the timeline of the evolution of social media. We've got launch of six degrees. I actually haven't heard of that. And then we've got Friendster. Yes, I remember that and MySpace, Facebook, and these other platforms that you're most likely aware of. These can then be instantly converted to something like a list instead, or Q&A, which doesn't quite make sense in this case. Process, maybe, maybe not. Just depends on what your goal is and what you'll be using these graphics for. I like the timeline, so what you can do then is make any adjustments as necessary down below with the text, and you can also customize it different aspect ratios and depending where you'll be posting this, for instance. If you like what you see, all you need to do is download it. The next AI tool on the list is called Ybot. And if you wanna dive into a topic or a question deeper, this is a great little simple tool, as you can see, really simple, nothing much to it in terms of the interface. So for example, if you wanna learn why do we yawn, Let's select that example and then it will create this kind of mind map and it will keep going, extending more and more if you want to go deeper and deeper on topic and subtopics and things like that. So you can see in real time it is generating those pieces of content and these facts. So it's a great way to visually learn about a particular topic and going deeper and deeper. You can use your mouse to kind of drag zoom in and zoom out like so. So we can see at the starting point, why do we yawn? And then we can go deeper. Could there be any other reason why yawning is contagious? And then it goes deeper, deeper and deeper. But going back to the interface, we can click this and then choose a persona, whether you're a researcher, hacker news, toddler. So making it really simple to understand, choose your model GPT 3.5 or four at the moment. You do get five prompts daily, but if you do have your own API key, you can insert your own. But yeah, quick nifty tool that you can use to dive deep on a subject. Next, we've got a useful prompt generator. So with this tool, you can generate better prompts to use on places like ChatGPT, Claude, and other chatbots and AI assistants. Don't be turned off with the whole interface and the simplicity of it because it's 
really that simple. All you need to do is add the role that uh, you want uh, ChatGPT to play. In this case, uh, I'm just putting something simple like a YouTube creator. What tasks do you want to achieve with this prompt? Write engaging a YouTube script about how to start selling digital products online, click on generate prompt, and then right down the bottom is the output. It starts here where it says, you are a successful YouTube creator known for your engaging and informative content. And here's an example script covering the following points. And then all you would need to do is simply copy this prompt and then in chat GBT, paste it in, and then I'm gonna now generate. And in seconds, it's created an entire YouTube video script for me from the intro and hook all the way down to the conclusion, even giving a call to action like give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips. So you can see what it's done, even filled out all of the steps involved based on the original prompt. But of course, if you are going to use this tool, I suggest going more specific with the role and the tasks so that you get a better output in terms of your prompt right here. All right, next up, we've got Google's own Notebook LM tool, which has gained a lot of popularity. And at the moment, it is completely free to use, powered by Gemini 1.5. And the difference between using something like ChatGPT and Claude is that you can upload your own sources and then it actually creates a human, kind of human to human conversation, kind of like a podcast interview of all of your sources and research. So first of all, you can upload all of your sources. So you click plus, upload the different sources from docs, slides. You can link any URL based on your trusted sources, right? A YouTube video maybe, paste in some text and then it will show all of here. So then the next time you go and start chatting to this AI assistant, it is only based on what you've provided Notebook LM, as opposed to web scraping, right? And the great feature is that if you go to Notebook Guide, there's an option for audio overview. So click on load, and then it will generate a podcast kind of style conversation based on your content. So I'll play this in a minute once it's generated. Here we go, let's click on play. Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. Today we're tackling fitness basics and let me tell you, we found some great sources for this one. We've got a really cool guide for beginners, some interesting facts about calisthenics. And there we go. So you can hear that there are two uh, people or more so AI uh, bots, right? and speaking, but it sounds so natural because it's made by Google. Of course, they're gonna take this into, uh, seriously and use the most powerful systems and AI models to create these kinds of things. I think this is a great uh, solution right now for research and planning and just overall great useful AI assistant for your day to day. Speaking of chatbots and AI assistants, if privacy is of concern, then I suggest this next tool, which is called Secret Llama. Your conversations and data never leave your computer. After the model is initially downloaded, you can disconnect your Wi-Fi and then chat away. So you can use this kind of like ChatGPT, select your model. We've got Tiny Llama, Llama 3, and a few others. And right here is where you can ask and start a conversation. So for instance, if I want to learn more about calisthenics, what is calisthenics, for instance, type of way, and there we go. It's a term used to describe exercises that use force, energy, and physical activity to improve physical and mental health. So think of Secret Llama as the private version of ChatGPT where your conversations stay on your computer. Moving on, we've got a couple of fun AI tools that you can start using. And this one allows you to create coloring pages. So right here, you can enter a prompt, let's say a tropical island, click on go. And by the way, you can take a look at some of the examples right here. But let's go back, we'll click on go. Now that it's generated, you can see what it looks like. You can print it right away or download this coloring page. You can regenerate by clicking go once more. And here's the second version. So this is a fun little tool. And as a parent myself, this is really useful if I want to get my daughters to start coloring in when they're on the plane or on the car ride to a long distance trip. So yeah, go ahead, give this a try. It's color anything. All right, this next tool is a Spotify playlist generator. It's called Chat Jams and all you need to do is enter a prompt of 
let's say the genres that you like or the types of music that you like. So in this case, and we're going to put in Future Garage, Chill Step, which are the genres that I enjoy listening to. And then it will generate a Spotify playlist for me. So I'll click on this enter button. And there we go. It's generated a suggested playlist for me. And I do recognize some of these artists and some I do not, So, it's, which is good. I want a bit of something fresh and something I don't tend to you know, listen to typically on a day-to-day. -day. And what you can do now is play it right away on Spotify. It's even generated a playlist URL right here. So have a play around with Chat Jams to create your next Spotify playlist. All right, friends, and those are the 12 free AI tools to give a try today. Let me know in the comments which of these intrigued you or which ones you see yourself using on a day to day. I'd love to know. In the meantime, watch this video here or this one here to learn more useful tools that you can implement to your day to day, your business, work or life.